Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Seafarer Live. In this video, we will see one of the most important topic which surveyor ask all time in our electrical exam. So I have divided this topic in three question. Let's see one by one. So the three question is what is single phasing, causes and effect of single phasing and the protection device fitted for single phasing. So we will see one by one. Okay, the first question is what is single phasing in electric motors? Now we know that for proper working of any three phase induction motor, it must be connected to a three phase alternating current power supply of rated voltage and load. Okay, and once these three phase motor are started, they will continue to run even if one of the three phase supply lines get disconnected okay so the loss of current through one of these phase supply is described as single phasing okay now the second question is what are the causes and effect of single phasing so in this we will see the reason behind the failure of uh, our one phase or the causes of single phasing okay the first cause is one of the three backup fuses blow or fuse wire melts second is one of the contactor for motor is open circuited third single phasing might also be cause due to wrong setting of the protection device provided on the motor fourth contactors are coated due to oxidation hence not conducting fifth relay contacts may be damaged or broken so these are the causes of single phasing okay now we will see what are the effects of single phasing what can be happen if single phasing okay so the first is due to single phasing the current in the remaining two phases increases and it is approximately 2.4 times the normal current value okay second is single phasing reduces the speed of the motor okay next is the motor becomes noisy and start vibrating due to uneven torque produced in the motor next is if the motor is arranged for standby and automatic starting then the motor will not start and if the overload relay provided fails to function then motor may burn okay the next is the winding will melt due to overheating and can give a fatal shock to the personnel okay last one is it may cause overloading of the generator so this question the surveyor asks most of the time okay what are the causes of single phasing and what are the effect of single phasing okay now the next question is what are the protection devices fitted for single phasing so simply the protection devices fitted for single phasing are our electromagnetic overload device okay thermistor and bimetal strip these are the three general protection devices which are fitted which are fitted in which are fitted for single phasing okay so thank you guys for watching share and subscribe for more and keep supporting